Right guys, so what I've got here is um, basically the rear engine mount, um, basically for the Mark III Golf uh, VR6 subframe. So the engine mount that goes there at the back on the subframe, um, you need to cut it down for clearance, otherwise the inlet manifold hits the, um, hits the inside of the bonnet. And I, I believe also the crank pulley will hit the um, chassis leg as well if you don't do this. So, um, what you have to do is you have to take this apart. So this is what the engine mount would look like. So you have to remove this bolt from the underside, from in there. So the bolt comes out. Okay, and then what you have is the rubber insert. So the rubber insert, um, you need to basically cut the rubber insert down anywhere between 15 and 20 millimeters. So I've gone uh, 15 millimeters on this. Um, you then also need to take 15 millimeters off of uh, off of the end of here, um, as well. And also, what I've done is I've filled um, I filled all the holes with sealant, not not silicon, um, with like a like a, an adhesive, and it makes it a bit a bit um, a bit tougher. So you've got a tougher engine mount there. So yeah. That's what you need to do on this conversion. Cut the rubber down by 15 to 20 millimeters and cut this down as well. You might find, um, if you cut it down by 20, you might have to re-tap this because there might not be enough thread in there. Um, so you're gonna have to tap that out a little bit further down as well for the bolt to bite, bite all the way in there. Um, yeah, so just wanted to show you that really, what that looks like. And there you go.